Any amount of rain anywhere in Texas is welcome during the current drought. But Saturday's rain fell downstream of Austin, not upstream, and did little to fill a shriveling Lake Travis that is only 37% full. We want it north and west of Austin. We'd like to see rainfall anywhere from Fredericksburg up to Llano, all the way over to Menard, Brady, up to Brownwood. John Hoffman oversees the Lower Colorado River Authority's water. The LCRA Hydromet shows that over the past three days, the heaviest rain fell outside the watershed that feeds the Highland Lakes. The long-term outlook is also not ideal because El Nino is weakening and will likely end this spring or summer. We have the potential, a good potential, uh, according to the meteorologist, that we might see a return of La Nina uh, in the fall. Uh, what that means for us is there's a good chance that we'll have another hot, dry summer ahead of us. The current Texas drought is historic in terms of severity, and another blistering summer could push some state water supplies to the brink. And if it goes through the summer, it'll qualify probably as the worst drought we've seen in our part of the world. The hope now is that May and June will live up to their reputations as being two of the wettest months in the Austin area. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.